Hey everyone, I'm going to walk you through your problem solution um, project. And the first thing you'll notice is that your topic will be a North Carolina problem. So this could be in the whole state of North Carolina, a particular county, a particular city. It could be something at Central Piedmont or another specific work location or school location. It just needs to be something that affects us locally. I do have some topics that um, are off the table. Um, legalizing marijuana, even for medical use, lowering the drinking age, HB2, or changing abortion laws are not topics that I will approve. There's nothing inherently wrong with any of these topics, um, but they generally do not turn out well, and I've uh, stopped allowing students to write on them. The HB2 uh, just We've, we've tried it for a couple of semesters now, and it just doesn't seem to yield good results. Um, the, the, the kind of academic sources are not out there. Um, so I'm just taking these off the table because they're just not, um, they just don't work. So what you're going to be doing is writing an essay, examining a problem, and suggesting a practical solution. Oh, I need to take off this, uh, we're not doing a presentation. There's, a, there's an optional presentation, but I will um, remove this for you guys. This is for another course. All right. The essay itself will be 1,250 words long. Um, that excludes the reference page, right? Uh, we, don't, we don't include that in part of our word count. And how I've organized these instructions is by um, sort of by the due dates, and I've put these due dates in Blackboard as well in, in the different folders so you can see sort of at a glance as to what's coming up. You need to submit your topic for approval by Monday, April 17th. All right, so that links in the week 13 folder. And I've moved some of these around, so I'm hoping that these folder numbers are still correct. We sort of wound up with some extra time uh, because of the way the semester began at almost like the end of the week. We had two days, I believe, and then um, we were at week two, and week one had only had one or two days. So it's kind of thrown the count off a little bit. We do not have a separate exam week, so we have sort of like a week 17. So if, if these folders are incorrect, um, I, I can change that for you. But I'm, I'm, I, this is the order in which things will be due. So I need to be able to approve your topic mostly to make sure that it's a topic that's going to work for you in the time that we have, that it's neither too broad nor too narrow for you to be successful. All right. So I might give you some feedback on how to modify that topic if it's not quite there yet, but I need to have this by Monday, April 17th. You'll write an issue proposal, and in fact I'll start um, having that information hopefully available for you this week. Um, an issue proposal is something that you do fairly on in a research project frequently. It allows you and your instructor to sort of see what do you know so far about your issue? Is it even arguable? Do I need to tweak it some to make it arguable? Um, you know, who, who would uh, need information about um, this topic? You know, what, what questions need to be answered? What do I know? Why am I interested? Just general questions like that. So that's that's a we're going to have it submitted in memo format, but sometimes it's just a regular document as well. It depends on what your instructor wants. Something new for you: you've done a a work cited page, you've done an annotated bibliography, and now the final step is a literature review, where you're looking at all of your sources. Um, mostly, these will be the sources for your problem itself. For many of you, the, prob the, the problem solution will be your own ideas and won't have as much research for those. But most of your research will be taken care of in a literature review. That will be due Sunday, April 30th. Um, I've got the list of the sources here that you're required to use. Um, some of these you've found already, some of them we haven't talked about. And we'll spend a little time talking about the differences between primary and secondary um, resources in this module as well. And I have a brief little sample there for you. You'll have an outline to be submitted no later than Sunday, May 7th. Um, this is kind of what I'm looking for, this kind of an outline. I'm not looking for this. I'm looking for something like this. So you can 
so I can kind of tell where you are, your introduction, your background, problems, solutions, plural, recommendation, that sort of thing. Okay. So in your essay, you'll have your introduction with the claim, and some of these are elements you were already familiar with. We're just going to add a couple of things. So introduction with your claim, that standard background that sort of gives us a context of, of the problem itself. The literature review, that's something new. We haven't done that before. Um, you'll explain your problems, and you'll discuss a minimum of two solutions, and this will be s organized in a comparison manner. We have not looked at that. You may have learned how to do how to organize a comparison essay in 111, but if you didn't, you will now. You're going to offer a recommendation of, let's say you chose to only include two solutions, you're going to recommend one solution and explain why you rejected the other one. All right, so you have to have a minimum of two solutions. So this is new as well a conclusion, which you've done before, and your APA reference page. The due date is Friday, May 12th. After that point, I will not accept any essays. And you may submit a presentation for extra credit if you would like. All right, I'll have a link for that. I um, thought I had one more thing I wanted to point out to you. Oh, I do have, and I mentioned this in the office hours for week 13, um, I do have a sample topic that I'm working on alongside with you and I will go ahead and post what I have already. I have sort of a formal argument, but I'm going to take that argument that I've already been working on and I'm going to, as you do your sections, I'm going to do them as well so that you'll see what my issue proposal looks like, um, what my literature review looks like, et cetera, on down the line, okay? So I'll go ahead and post my argument, and then as we work through the different module elements, you'll see mine um, change along with it. I'll try to get ahead of you guys, but at the very least, it'll be there before you submit yours each week. Um, so to kind of reflect the things that you should be doing. My topic is um, w w offering solutions for um, instructors, college instructors, and professors for handling disruptive behavior, disruptive classroom behavior. And we do get it at the college level, too. It's different sometimes, de depending on the class. Uh, it's different kind of disruptions in, in the college classroom often than in the high school classroom, but some things are similar. But the way we handle them is very different. We have different things that we can do at the college level. So that will be the topic that I'm working on. That's my North Carolina, actually, CPCC topic. All right, so I hope this is enough to get you started. Again, all these sections will be expanded upon each week as we work on the different components, but I want you to review this and be thinking about where you'd like to go with your particular topic. If you have any questions, please let me know.